grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, I'm sitting in a completely different part of the church today. Uh, the reason for that is I've just finished recording a, a short piece which will be cut into a larger advertising video so that folks who are looking for a church home can get a little sample of who we are around here at St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church. And rather than make Justin move everything to another location, I said, let's just video from here. And I say that not just to explain why I'm here with the beautiful stained glass behind me, but just to illustrate the new way of being church that we're moving into at St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church. Who would have thought that I would have been filming an advertising video? Who would have thought that Justin would have been cutting and pasting music and preaching and scripture into a hopefully really attractive, really engaging piece of advertising for us. Remember the day when advertising meant make sure the church name was spelled right in the yellow pages? Yeah, I remember those days too. Now things are so different. Different but still wonderful. The scripture for this coming Sunday is the parable of the sower, sowing the seeds everywhere. And somewhere the seeds grow well, and some places less well. And I don't want to spoil Sunday's sermon, but part of the meaning of that parable is that sometimes things grow beautifully and sometimes they don't. And as Christians, we can fall into the trap of looking at what's not working, what's not growing, and be so fixated on that that we don't recognize the wonderful yield, the wonderful crop, the wonderful harvest that we do enjoy. It's a sort of parable way of saying the glass is often half full, not half empty. Why do I tell you that today? Well, I want to talk for just a couple of minutes about the mission of St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church. Things have changed over the last five, ten years, haven't they? You, you know that better than I do, those of you who've been around here long enough. You'll know that some things worked beautifully, some things less beautifully. Some things have grown, some things have shrunk, some things have been birthed, and some things have died. That's the natural flow of life in a congregation. We have a choice, though. Do we continuously mourn that which no longer is? Or do we faithfully and joyfully focus on that which is now and will be to come? Will we look at our life together as St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church and see it half full? I want to actually suggest that not only is the glass half full, it's overflowing. Now I understand, most people at St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church come to worship and if worship is meaningful to them, they go away happy and filled. Their thoughts have been provoked a little bit, but they go away comforted with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Others are looking for more. And I want to suggest to you that in our mission in the world, there is more at St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church than perhaps people realize. Because so many of us are working in our own parts of the field. So in addition to worship, what's happening at St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church? We have adult studies, a movie night, book club, Musical options galore, bell choir, chancel choir. We have concerts. We impact our community in ways that most people don't realize until they see the big picture. Our social ministry committee receives donations from members of this congregation and gives them away faithfully to deserving ministries and charities in our community. And more than that, almost every member of the social ministry group is actively 
working and ministering in some ministry field in our community in the name of St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church. And they're looking for more people to join them. Writing a check is wonderful. Keep it up, please. But the social ministry group at St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church rolls up its sleeves and gets involved. If you want to be involved in some of that wonderful work they do, just reach out. We'll connect you. You can be part of not just check writing, but in the flesh ministry. The St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church Foundation gives away tens of thousands of dollars every year. And I know the foundation is separated from the congregation for all sorts of good legal financial reasons. But let's not kid ourselves. It is the St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church Foundation. The trustees are all members of this congregation. And when someone in our community or in our nation receives a generous check from the foundation, it bears the name of St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church. And our ordinary members are involved in so many things in this community and are proud to fly the flag of St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church as they do so. There is an old saying, an old spiel in church work. If the church closed down tomorrow, would anyone miss you? If St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church ceased to exist tomorrow, would Sarasota notice? And the answer is yes. Yes, it would. We would be sorely missed. That is a measure of the impact our ministry has on our community. Now, should we do more? Oh, yes, we should. There is so much more to do. We were more active at one time in leaving our building and doing good works. But people die or move away and sometimes those ministries leave with them. And times change. People are so busy now that I don't think we have that time to do everything that was done in the past. But here's mission for the future at St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church. What we're discovering is that our members are willing to do hands-on projects. If the projects are exciting and they have the start and end time so that people know what level of commitment they're giving. People are asking for more Bible studies, more adult studies, under a whole range of topics, led by all sorts of different people. We can do more of that. I can teach more. Pastor Herb can teach. Visiting pastors can teach online or in person. Yes, we can do more. But as we're doing more, and I think you get a sense by now that we are starting to do more and more. You see it electronically and you'll see it when you return in person. There is a sense that although we are doing more and more, St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church has never stopped doing, never stopped being. There have always been opportunities. Maybe we need to do a little better job of raising those possibilities before the eyes of our members. Because we have a rich tradition here and a rich presence and a rich future here. Be part of it and rejoice in it. Our cup truly is overflowing. The question is how will you be part of it going forward? How will you support our ministry? Will you say, here I am, count me in? Will you say, I have an idea for ministry. Can you help me make it happen? How will you spread the word of what we do here with your friends and neighbors so that they know how rich the faith, worship life, and ministry life is of St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church? 
Will you be part of our solution? Or part of the problem? I'm excited about the future. I'm getting a greater and greater sense that you are too, as we share these fireside chats and as feedback comes into me from them. But all of that has to be grounded in love. Faith, hope and love abide, says St Paul. These three, but the greatest of these is love. So first of all, we have to love each other. And that will impact how we speak to each other, how we treat each other, how we interact with each other. If we can't love each other, how can we love the world? But if we only have love for each other at the expense of the world, how will we ever serve the world? And if we don't first and foremost love God more than we even love ourselves, what treasure are we sharing with the world? What message will we bring? So our future is one of love. Love for God, love for each other, and love for our neighbour. That is the mission and the ministry and the purpose of St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church. A community of fallible, normal people like you and like me, gathered here around word and sacrament, and then ready to go from here to love and serve the world that God made, redeems, and sustains. Will you be part of it? If your answer is yes, then the future of St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church is safe in your hands, in my hands, and ultimately in God's hands. And may God be with you until we meet again.